Hello mga friendships, welcome back to our vlog and today we are still in Barcelona and today is also Kuya Kasia's birthday and because it is one of his wishes to see FC Barcelona so here we go we are going to take you to FC Barcelona Stadium or Camp, Camp Nou I don't know if I said that correctly so yes uh, FC Barcelona is a well it is commonly referred to as um, FC Barca and it is a professional football club based in Barcelona Catalonia Spain it competes in the Liga or top flight of Spanish football and also um, FC Barcelona was founded in 1899 by a group of Swiss, Catalan, German, and English footballers led by John Gamper. The club has become a symbol of Catalan culture and Catalanism, hence the motto Vesky on club or more than a club. Unlike many other football clubs, the supporters own and operate Barcelona. It is the fourth most valuable sports team in the world. It is worth $4.75 billion and the world's fourth richest football club in terms of revenue with an annual turnover of 582.1 million euros. The official Barcelona anthem yes. is the Cant del Barça. It is written by uh, Jomi Picas and Josep Maria Espinas. Barcelona traditionally play in the dark shades of blue and garnet stripes, hence nickname Balograna. So, yes, my friendships. Welcome to FC Barcelona Stadium or Camp No. When I came here, there was that Barca bar, but it doesn't look like this last time I came here. Barca Barcelona, among the friendships. <laughs> well, the last time I came here, that bus didn't look like that. <laughs> Barca Cafe over there. Barca Cafe. So, among the friendships, we are here now in Camp No or the Barcelona Stadium. But um, it's not our lucky day because the uh, stadium is closed. Um, it's not open for uh, people to look inside however it is looking very different from how it looks like when I first came he uh, here to uh, Barcelona um, the first time I came here we were able to go inside the stadium but there was no uh, souvenir shop that this big and even this um, uh, area where to eat there wasn't here before so still it was a good day because um we went shopping for some souvenirs in the in fc barcelona um souvenir shop so yes um this is the history a short history of camp no or the stadium of barcelona camp no was built in between 1954 and 1957 and officially opened on the 24th of September 1957 with a match between FC Barcelona and a selection of players from the city of Warsaw. 
The stadium replaced the Barcelona's previous ground, Camp de las Cortes, which, though it could hold 60,000 supporters, was still too small for the growing support of the club. Camp No initially consists of two tiers that could hold 93,000 spectators. It was first called Stadi del FC Barcelona, but got soon referred to as Camp No. The stadium was together with um, Estadio Santiago Bernabe, playing venue of the Euro 1964 Championships. It hosted the semi-final between the Soviet Union and Denmark, 3-0. That's the score of the match and the match for the third place between Hungary and the same as Denmark. And the score again is 3-1 or 3-1. The stadium hosted two camp winners, camp finals in the following decades. The first in 1972 between Glasgow Rangers and Dynamo Moscow. The score was 3-2. And the second in 1982 between Barcelona and Standard de League and the score was 2-1. So Camp Nou got expanded with the third tier for the 1982 World okay, Cup which raised capacity to 120,000 places. So during the World Cup, it hosted the opening match between Belgium, Belgium and Argentina and the score was 1-0. Three matches in the second group stage and the semi-final between Italy and Poland and the score was 2-0. Again, in 1989, Camp No hosted the European Cup final between AC Milan and FC Estua and the score was 4-0, which was followed by, in 1999, by the Champions League final between Manchester United and FC Bayern and the score was 2-1 so in the early 1990s Barcelona started converting various standing areas into seating which reduced capacity though additional seats were created by lowering the pitch until the late 1990s Camp Nou still had some standing area at the top of the third year but this were finally eliminated reducing the cap the capacity to just below 100,000. So in contrast to the Burnaby Camp No has changed huh? relatively little since its inauguration and lacks many of the modern facilities common in most stadiums these days. For the last decade, Barcelona have therefore been investigating either rede redeveloping Camp No or even building a completely new stadium. So in the mid in the mid 2000, 2000s, the club presented plans for a renovated Camp Nou designed by Norman Foster, but a lack of funding prevented realization. The club next standard started studying a move to a new stadium, but finally decided in 2014 to just redevelop the current stadium. So the redevelopment will entail the construction of the first year resulting in a steeper tier which with better views. The extension of the top tier over the whole of the stadium, the construction of roof to cover all seats and expansions and improvement to the interior of the stadium aimed at providing better facilities resulting capacity will be slightly higher at a little over 105,000 seats. Works are planned to start in 2017 and gradually perform over four seasons to finish in 2021. So I don't know if that's probably why it is closed because of the pandemic. So maybe it wasn't, you know, the project wasn't finished. So there you go. That's the uh, history of Camp Nou or the uh, FC Barcelona Stadium. And don't mind it. So mga friendships, the birthday boy ah. is not done shopping yet because he saw some 
FC Barcelona um, goods in uh, El Corte Inglés. So that's what he wanted. So he wanted the bag, which he could use as school bag, and caps, which they can also use in school. So we are going back to El Corte Inglés to get those um, things he wanted. Anyway, it's his birthday, so why not? So anyway, Camp No or the, this stadium of Barcelona is situated in a rather dense urban urban area, especially towards the east and south. And one can therefore find the typical local Spanish bars and restaurants in the vicinity of the stadium. And the uh, uh, options pale, however, in comparison with what can be found in the center. So we are now going back to the center of Barcelona which is a short metro ride so if you want to take the metro it's a short ride and most eating and drinking in Barcelona is centered in the historic center yes that's where we're going right now and there is more nightlife in the nearby beach and port areas so yes and um if you are again in barcelona and you want to come to camp no or stadium of barcelona camp no is located in the east of barcelona and it is about five kilometers from barcelona's historic city center the stadium is part of the sports complex that also includes barcelona's mini standing the stadium is easy to reach by metro Various stations uh, lie close to the stadium and for all of them, it takes an approximate 10 minutes walk to reach the stadium. So yes, mga friendship, that's it. That's Kuya Kasha's birthday done. And um, I'm sharing with you what we wrote as our uh, birthday uh, message to Kuya Kash. So it says... Today is Kuyakash's first double-digit birthday. He can now officially say, I'm 10. So to Kuyakash, congratulations and welcome to the double digits. You're not one-digit kid anymore. You are officially a teenager in training. I have, or we have three wishes as our gifts to you today. First one is to make this uh, day memorable. Second one is for your happiness always. And third one is for your success in everything you want to do and achieve in the coming days. Happy, happy birthday. We love you so much from Mommy, Daddy, and Kive. And yes, he loves to uh, play yeah! that with uh, Nintendo so he can, you know, ask his daddy for any kind of game. So there you go. Happy birthday, Kuya Cash. Thanks for watching.